All right, class, it is time for the doohickey block challenge here. So what is a doohickey block? I don't know, but we're going to find out. We're going to see how uh, we draw that doohickey block and how it relates. Uh, so we're going to start this. Let me zoom in. There's our doohickey block on the left-hand side, and this is our whatchamacallit bracket on the right. I'm going to uh, do this with the watch McCullough bracket and then you can go ahead and fill the information out uh, on the doohickey block. Now the purpose of this activity of course is to relate what lines, edges, surfaces uh, on one view, in this case the isometric view shown here, relate to those lines, edges, and surfaces in our uh, orthographic projection or our multi view here with our front view, our side view, and our top view. And again, uh, this is a pictorial designed to look three dimensional. So we got like a 3D pictorial here, and then we have the multi views that are showing each side of that particular object in what's called our multi view projection. And we're going to uh, match and put the relationship between the numbers with the letters as we go. But before we start, we've got to kind of get an idea and take a look at the relationship. So first I'm going to start by labeling. Uh, following our standard third angle projection, uh, this is the front view. Uh, this is going to be our right side view, or we'll just label that the side view now. And of course this is the top view up here. And that's the traditional layout, front, side, and top. Now. Uh, this particular problem is set up a little differently. So the first thing we have to identify is the relationship uh, between our front view uh, and our orthographic projection with the side of the view that is in our um, isometric over here. And in this case, uh, our line of sight uh, for the front view, as we're looking, here's our line of sight here. And that normal surface, the normal surface again, is when we are looking directly at an object at 90 degrees, the normal surface. So the normal surface here in our isometric and our line of sight is going this way. So this view here is actually our front, which makes this a little bit more challenging because as we would rotate around, so... Remember, as you think about it, uh, and as we would rotate objects around, uh, we rotate and pivot them that direction. So uh, this is going to be a little bit more challenging because the way they have this oriented with this as our front, that means our side is actually coming from back here, the side that we can't really see from this from this particular vantage point. So, so I'm gonna put my line of sight here. So again, this is the normal surface, there's my eyeball. My line of sight there for the side view is right here. And of course, as I'm looking down at my top view, that bird's eye view on the top, uh, that's still looking straight down. So here is my bird's eye view, uh, my line of sight for my top view as well. So, so now I've kind of related uh, the different sides, my front side, my side side, and my top side with all of these uh, views that I'm seeing. And now I have to kind of take a look at the letters and the numbers and how they relate. Now we will start, um, actually I'm going to start with my front because to me I think it's a little easier. I can actually see the shapes here in my front view. So notice if I just talk about basic shape, I've got like an L shaped here, and then I have this rectangle here in the front view. And I already mentioned that this is my front view and my bird's eye, my line of sight is going that way. You can see here, there's the L. So this is the L here, and that's shown and represented here. So uh, surface F relates with surface number number five. So I'm going to come down here on my worksheet uh, for number five. I'm going to put a F there. So that's the relationship. And at the same time, I can also see, notice I got 
uh, number four, that's that rectangle. So, and four as I'm looking at this, there's my rectangle, so four is E. Now I'm given uh, two other numbers that I have to relate in this. They're gonna be a little trickier. The arrow actually points to the edge or that line. Um, and it's important to understand that the line uh, that's being pointed to and referencing in this view might represent a surface uh, that we see in another. And that's exactly the case. So if I kind of take a look, this number six is pointing to this top line or this top edge here. So if I move that up here and look at it from this perspective, so this is that line. And of course, six is pointing to that surface, which means six uh, corresponds with the letter B. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll write out B for number six. Now, number seven is trickier. It's pointing to this edge right here. So as I'm looking at that, so I come back over here into my isometric, my 3D pictorial here, and I can see, well, now I can clearly see as I look at this and notice that, that seven corresponds with letter J. So I'm going to go ahead and put letter J in there. Now I'm going to go ahead, I may as well, uh, let's move to the top because I think for me the top is the easier view now to fill out. So uh, notice as I go, I'm only showing one, two, and three are my numbers that match and I got to see how they correlate as I'm looking down on here. So I'm going to start with the easiest one here to pick up on, and that is surface number two, that rectangle shape. And if I were looking down here, that rectangle shape is very easy to determine what I'm seeing right here. So that is surface D. So that's this surface right here. So number two is D. One is pointing to this uh, top edge line. So, so I got to sit here and think as I'm looking down. So that means that it's pointing to this here, which I see this first, and then I'm going to see that even though uh, from that two-dimensional look, even though these are at different levels, I'm going to see that form one line, even though I know here as I'm looking now between the relationship between here and there, this line right here sits up higher than this line here. Or that line, I could say, is actually sitting down into that paper plane there. Um, but from this two-dimensional, it looks just like one solid line. So number one then relates to letter H. Applying the same concept over here, uh, three, this line three here, uh, relates if I come to this corner so that's there that's kind of along this line here so I can see that 3 relates to G so I'm gonna put G up there with that now that leaves us with 8 9 and 10 as our last ones here to go so and this is the harder of the two I think because it's actually coming to us from the backside where we don't really see it. So, so I have to kind of take a look at the relationship here. Now we'll start with number eight first. Now notice, as I follow my projection lines, so six or edge six is also pointing the same surface as uh, edge eight is. So, and as I look, so, in, you remember the front view related to this edge for six. Here in eight, that relates to this edge here, or that line, which means eight is also surface B. So that's the solution there for eight, surface B. Now, nine, Pointing to nine. Again, this is that top part, the very highest. And as I'm looking at that, uh, that is actually pointing 
to uh, surface D. So 9 is surface D. So that's the very height of this surface. We don't see that surface in the side view, and that surface actually presents itself as edge 9, or that line shown in edge 9. That brings me to my last one here, number 10. And again, as I look at this, so 10 and 7 are related. So if I know here that 7 is here in my isometric, so uh, it's a pretty safe bet then to know that 10 in the side view is the same as J in my pictorial. So there we go. So that is J. So, so our answers here are H, D, G, E, F, B, J, B, D, and J to show the relationship between our isometric pictorial three-dimensional view up here and our orthographic multi-view uh, over here between our front side and top view. That two-dimensional relationship to a three-dimensional drawing and how they relate with each other. Now, I'm going to give you the opportunity. It will be up to you to go ahead with your normal surfaces. Give that a shot here on the doohickey block. So you can do it. Let me help you out to start out with. I'm going to first label. We've got the front view. So we have the side view. And we have the top view up here. That's our view arrangement. So line of sight here on our uh, pictorial. So let me draw my eyeball. So this is my front. That's my front view line of sight. Uh, here is my side view line of sight. So I'm looking at it this direction. So that's my side view. And then of course the top view is just looking directly down on it here in that way. So that's my top view uh, from there. So that should help get you started where you can see the relationship between the views and your uh, pictorial there as well. So. Uh, give it a shot. Send me an email. Ask questions. Uh, got a little uh, cat surprise here that my cat left for me. A little toy mouse. Hey, you guys have a good time. Good luck with the doohickey block challenge. Anyway, that's all for me. Out.